ba 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 sucker for love, date to die for, ba da ba da ba ba. Hi, Mr. G. Hello, how are you? Uh, are you ready to? Are you ready to join me in our? What's a Twitch appropriate word? Appreciation of eldritch women. Are you ready to to join in the appreciation of eldritch women tonight? I have like three game demos. Sucker for Love, Dread Weight, which is the second Cooking Companions game. And then I have one called Deep Heart Prototype, which is a really cool body cam looking horror one. So we have like three demos to play tonight. Give me Monster Girls. Oh, you and me are on the exact same page. This is our Monster Girl for the next game because this is the demo. This is our monster girl. This is our lo- this is our eldritch uh, our eldritch uh, being monster girl. She looks so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. The thousand versus the one. Oh, let me turn this down a little. I turned it up for the music for stream starting. Chapter one: The, the thousand versus the one. Cosmic horrors. Ooh. Things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. Oh yeah! Give me a sec, I'm gonna like shrink myself a little bit. This is the perfect game for me to be playing during Pride Month. The bisexual in me is about to be raging on- The raging bisexual in me is about to be on screen. Get ready. Get ready. You're gonna see a new side of sin. <laughs> They are sequestered to the stars, appearing mm. only through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. <laughs> this is so cool. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. Ooh! Yo, 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 Cory! Welcome, Cory! We play in the demo for Sucker of Love, Date to Die For, the second game. Looking groovy? Thank you! It's my Pride Month outfit. I, I, I colored my outfit to be the bisexual pride flag. And I got me some nice good glasses. And I, there's some pins I got for my pronouns. Very cute, very cute. Thank you! <laughs> Uh, looking groovy? Hell yeah. You're gonna be seeing... <laughs> Corey, you showed up at a great time. You're gonna be seeing me absolutely down bad for Eldritch, uh, Eldritch Horror Girls. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows <laughs> in her obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman. Let's go. We love the shrimp. We love the shrimp for for monster girls here. The vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. Ooh. A simple hatchet in their hands. Oh. Oh. Somebody just got murdered. We're not even a whole five minutes in. Well, not actually. We just hit five minutes in. We're a whole five minutes in, and somebody just got murdered. There we go enjoy some monster girls i didn't know they were creating a second game oh yeah i follow the creator on twitter akabaka Ooh, i love it and they're making a second cooking companions game called a uh, dread weight and i have the demo on my computer and i'm going to be playing that one after this one so this is the second game for sucker of love and i'm going to be playing the demo for uh cooking companions oh I'm I heard, oh my god, excited this game. I'm so fucking excited. I'm like so fucking ecstatic. I am so happy. I'm going I'm going to play it tonight and I'm so excited to see what they did. They got it funded in like just the fir first few days. The game got funded in the first few days, which makes me so happy because it shows the community is like so interested in the game and wants to support it. it makes me so happy for the creators. Hell yeah, Mjorder. Hell yeah. Did something scary happen? Ooh, yes, they deserve it. They do. They made a great game. Oh, this is the main character. I think she's so freaking cute. She's so adorable. Look at her. This is who we're playing as, I'm pretty sure. In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheep. Ooh, you're a pretty bookseller. 
Oh, so I, I gotta talk. Okay. Oh, no, no. I must have nodded off and had a bad dream. Um, I know this is a super weird question, but can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore in Sacramento. Are you lost? Oh, no. I think I know where I am now. Thanks. I've been getting strange dreams lately. I can't make sense of what they've been about. But when I wake up, my heart is pounding out of my chest. And I'm not where I fell asleep. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. Hey, Sina, as a horror lover, have you seen the Terrifier movies? I have not. But as a fellow horror lover, I've got to ask, have you seen Crypt TV? Now, if you are a horror lover, you'll like Crypt TV. <laughs> I always, like, recommend them to anybody who loves horror. Their shit is so scary. These dreams started happening the same time that people began vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Even though it's a fairly remote town with a small population, there's been dozens of disappearances in the last year alone. So many. That the trains don't stop at the station anymore. This looks like... Uh... What is it? It's giving me Higarashi vibes. If you've ever seen the anime Higarashi, uh, it's giving me the same vibes because this is like what the little town looks similar to, but it's not exactly the same. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I have not. You need to. You need to, Mr. G. You'll like it. Concerned locals claim to have spotted angry woodland spirits at the edge of the woods. Animals with too many features. Watching them. And outsiders can't shake the feeling that they're always being watched by an unblinking, purple eyes of the townsfolk. The Sacramento stare is what they call it on the news. They're saying that the stare is how they can tell if you're an outsider at a glance. If you don't have it, they know you're not one of them. Oddly enough, I don't have the Sacramento stare, despite being born here. And even now, after returning home, I've still been spared from it. Besides some lightheadedness and the dull, warm, fuzzies feeling, I don't feel any different. The girl that runs this odd bookstore also hasn't been cursed, it seems. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to loiter. To be honest, I don't have any money with me, but I'll come back first thing tomorrow and buy something. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you better hurry home. Home. Even though my family fled town when the disappearances began, I'm returning to our ancestral home in Sacramento. All because of a note that I found in my apartment this morning. Your mother is still a little shook up from everything that happened. And so I'm taking care of her at Gram Gram Ikades. Ikades. That took a minute. Place. If you came to visit, it would cheer her up and help her recovery. We've missed you so, so much, Stardust. Ooh, her name is Stardust? I like that. But the strange thing is, my parents were two of the first people to go missing. They were declared dead since they'd been missing for more than a year amidst the disappearances. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is their handwriting, and my parents are the only ones that call me Stardust. This is them beyond a shadow of a doubt. Whatever is going on here, I can't turn my back. I need to see them again. Speaking of, I'd better get going. I'm actually going to horror movie convention in a few months and I'll be dressing as Ash Williams. Ooh! I'll look it up. Hmm. They're pretty... Uh, they do horror shorts and stuff on uh, YouTube. Their stuff is usually pretty creepy. At least to me it is. What's the one that's really creepy? There's one about a woman that's like a spider. There's like a spider woman. I forget what it is. What is the freaking name of it? I'm gonna look it up real quick. What is the name? Crypt TV Spider Lady. Miss Anity. They did a, a thing called Miss Anity. That one freaked me the hell out. It's really good. Terrifier is insanely brutal and bloody. So is Crypt TV. <laughs> Crypt TV is not hold back. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. I don't like the shine in your glasses. I get the feeling you uh you aren't what you seem. 
Right. Time to hurry back. I push my way through the door, leaving the warm glow of the bookstore behind as the sun sets. Sacramento, overgrown by an oppressive canopies of foliage. From the smell of animal musk in swampy fields, you'd think this was a barn, not a city street. Every surface is plastered with posters. Many layer the ground, and every single one of them is someone that was never found. That's why they call it Missing Person Lane now. It's where desperate out-of-towners looking for their loved ones leave posters before going missing themselves. It's the only navigate... Nava navigable footpath left <laughs> in the most direct route to my house. I can tell if it's the darkness playing tricks on me or what. I'm, but I'm losing my way down streets that I should know forwards and back. Wasn't I supposed to make a turn a while ago? I can't make heads or tails of the houses and landmarks I used as a kid to get around. It's like my whole hometown was replaced by an unfamiliar yet exact replica. Okay. Calm down. If I check the note my parents wrote and compare the address number to the nearest house, I should be able to at least figure out if I'm walking the right way. Oh my, that doesn't look right. Let's see, chicken curry, fried chicken, cheeseburger, beer, water, ketchup, soy sauce, other. A blank grocery store receipt. Why did I put this in my pocket? Where's my parents' letter? Oh, the mind fuckery starts now. The mind fuckery begins. You think you had a letter, but then as soon as you pull it out, it's not a letter. It's a receipt. Don't know if you like blood. Guess you do. I watch horror movies. I watch Saw. If I can watch Saw, I can watch just about anything. Well, nearly anything. I dig through my pockets in a panic. There's no way I dropped it in the bookstore. So where could it have this receipt? It has the same food lines and dimensions as the handwritten note I had. Could I have... No. There's no way I could have misread a shopping list as an entire letter from my parents. Right? I fumble around with the note, checking the back, and flipping it and turning it in a hopeless attempt to see the message again. But the receipt says... The receipt stays a receipt. Something is very wrong. I turned to run. Hey, ow! Uh, are you, like, blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klotorama! Oh my god, I remember you! You were one of the characters, uh, we were told about. This is a Gyaru girl, a really cute Gyaru girl. I slammed right into somebody coming the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you alright? I should have been more careful. Whoa, she's really pretty. But what on earth is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? Damn. I love her. <laughs> we appreciate our Gyaru girls here. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. Oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Uh. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Wait, what? What? I think you are mistaken. I'm not trying to steal your boyfriend. I'm trying to steal you from your boyfriend. Hey, yo, girl. How about them digits? How about them digits, baby girl? Said I'd much rather go after you. Wait. Huh? What? Your boyfriend? Yeah. You heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. Who the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations coming from? I don't know anyone named Buck. Huh? Really? You don't know who Buck is? Oh, the eye. Happy Pride Month, y'all. Happy Pride Month! Welcome, 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 Ryder. How are you? How has your day been? I forgot to ask that earlier. My apologies. How has everybody's day been? How is everyone? But happy Pride Month! Your local cinnamon roll, and totally not anything else suspicious whatsoever, is wearing a Pride Month outfit. Bisexual flag pride. Oh yeah. And of course, my pronouns up in my hair. Ba 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 ba. Hee hee. Let me shrink back down. 
But happy Pride Month. Woo! I've just been chilling all day. Can vibe with that. I was working all day on stuff. Editing, trying to learn music stuff. So much. I'm happy I finally have a music program I can like play with and learn some things. But god damn, is actually learning how to do music something new entirely. I'm currently like listening to songs, trying to like get an idea on how people use drums in music or certain music genres. And I'm so far getting a little bit of an idea. I think I need to... Uh, I have an ear for p pianos and guitar, but drums is where I'm kind of failing right now. But I'm kind of, that's why I'm listening to music and stuff so much and kind of like analyzing it. I'm kind of getting a feel for drums a little. I think I need to start off with using drums as a bass for a song and then add on to it. That's what I'm thinking. At least for me. But that's how, that's how that's going. Been busy, long time no see, Sina. Overall good. How you been? I've been good. I'm working on lots of stuff, lots of project stuff. Uh as you heard trying to do music stuff i got a month a free month trial for uh, a music program so i'm playing with it and trying to learn it a little bit and see what i can do see if i can get a grasp on music a bit more and beyond that i'm working on a second uh i already had i did my first live 2d model that's currently getting rigged and i should get it by the end of the month or the beginning of july uh i'm currently working on a um on my second live 2D model, because my character canonically, for lore reasons, my character has like two forms. So I'm working on the second form. Uh, I'm currently getting stuff ready. I did new emotes and stuff for a uh, live 2D debut. Uh, I'll do when I get my model back. Uh, I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna try and see. I'm gonna try and redo everything again. Like I'm gonna try. You see the little. Uh, the little badges next to Mr. G's name. I'm going to try and redo the badges bring so they match the overall color palette. Uh, the emotes are done. The banners are done. The model's been drawn. It's just getting rigged. I need to still do the badges, uh, both the regular ones for subs and for bits. Uh, and I'm considering doing an overlay. Uh, not like an overlay for gaming. I kind of like this better, the overlay I already have, because it makes it easier for people for people to see. And for me. <laughs> but I'm considering doing like a just chatting kind of overlay, maybe. Something like that. Maybe. I'm not 100% certain on it yet. But I'm considering it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm working on. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yeah. At the end of this month, we should be getting the model. I already have a reference sheet done. Uh, Wims made it for me. Wims made my w reference sheet. So my reference sheet is already done and ready. Uh, it's all pretty and decked out. I love it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else, all done. Everything else, well, not everything else all done, but that's everything I'm working on. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Busy B, hope to check it out sometime soon. Ooh. Don't worry. It'll be, it won't be too it, it won't be too long. It won't be too long. It'll be somewhat soon. Somewhat. We just gotta wait till the rest of this month, pretty much. And then we should be on track for a Life 2D debut. Yippee! <laughs> Why the computer beep? Oh, gotta love the numpad. Huh. Let's get back to the game with the pretty Gyaru girl with the terrifying eyeball now. Let's go, let's go. You're not like from out of town, are you? Oh, the eyes are not good. The stare. It's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. I can't let her see my eyes. No matter what, she'll notice I don't have the Sacramento stare. I live here. Oh yeah? Look at me really quick. This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, I don't care how hot you are. I freeze before I know it, I'm already staring straight at her. <laughs> Lucky, hi. Got an 
another one for you at Missing Person Lane. I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding in my ears can't dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down. But the image of my face on the next missing posters, person posters kick, kicked my legs into action once more. Heavy breathing. <sighs> Heavy breathing. <laughs> but no matter how far I run, the buildings refuse to change. The street refuses to turn. And the sounds of the awakening woods refuses to abate. This is hopeless. There's a wide open clearing in the trees, but one block ahead. If I can break line of sight from my unseen pursuers, I have a chance of finding someplace to hide. As I near the turn off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end, or it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Around the corner, it's my grandma's house, sitting alone in the middle of a clearing in the woods. I thought the way to my house involved multiple turns a ways back, but I don't have time to question things as I'm already halfway up the makeshift dirt path. Ooh. I skulk up the open, I skulk up the open lot of my grandparents' old house, burst through the door, and hold the door shut for what feels like forever. Oh, look, there's blood on the walls. Bloody shoes. So many shoes. I wonder why. There's a butterfly! Click. No one's banging at the door. For the moment, I'm not being chased. <sighs> hey, what? I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but... This dread... Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? My parents? Hello? I'm home! No response. Hello? Ooh, this is cool! Okay, this is extra cool. We have like a map and everything. Look, we have like a map and we get to travel around this time. So in the first game... In the first game, you just had, like, uh, one room in one setting you were in. It was one whole room, pretty much. And that was where the whole game took place. This time, the creator went even further. And not only is it visual novel styled, but you get to move around the environment. So you get to turn and everything like this. It's so fucking cool. Look at this. It's so cool. I want to learn how to do this. I love visual novel games. I still want to make one but i would love to learn how to do this too Ooh, if i could convince the creator to teach me their ways inspect a butterfly stuck in a web where's the spider Ooh, it's so cool look at this i dash out the door and flee from the house if i could escape from sacramento i could tell me what, what's been happening i swear back through i didn't know that was gonna happen Oh my god, I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know we were going to do that. Okay, I guess I fucking ran. I sprint back through the missing person lane, unable to shake the feeling of an unseen pursuer just past the tree line. But no matter how far I run, the buildings refuse to change. Time and time again, I arrive back at my house. It's as if my house was in the middle of a non elucidant labyrinth. As soon as I lose sight of it, I happen upon it again. Even when my past certainly puts distance between me and my house, I cannot get free of its strange clutches. I won't be able to escape until these darned woods are banished. I cross the threshold with rekindled determination. That's cool. That was cool. This is so cool, Inspect. This is a lot of boots. I only have nine siblings, but I see at least 20 pairs of shoes here. You have a lot of siblings. I don't even have that many siblings. Damn. So. What was that? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. This is actually a little, little, little terrifying. 
Oh my god, I have to peek. I have to do like a peeky peek thing. No, this is actually going to be scary. They made it more terrifying. Oh my god, they made it more terrifying. It, it wasn't like super terrifying before. It was kind of funny and a little scary at some parts, but this is scary, scary now. Oh, they upped their game. Inspect. Our family photos. Only none of these photos have me in it. And the faces of my siblings look... Unfamiliar? What's with those strange symbols? Uh, there's like a bucket of blood right here. We're not gonna, we're not gonna inspect that? Okay. The Tommy room. Uh... This is something else. This is actually a little scary, scary. <laughs> yeah, that's my ex reaction exactly, Ryder. Oh, God. Just a little peek. Damn, it's bloody in here. Um, I think we're on a butcher mat. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna throw that out there. Just from all my times of watching uh, horror games and everything, uh, we are on a blue tarp on the floor. Um, I'm going to be quite honest. I feel like we're in a place where people's bodies get butchered or they get butchered or chopped up or whatever horrific shit they can think of happens down right here. Uh, also, it looks like there's handprints on the wall, so it looks like somebody struggled. Do not die. Oh, we're not going to comment on the obvious butcher room. We're just not. We're not going to comment on the obvious room used for butchering. The birdcage where my gram gram kept, kept her finches. It's been destroyed from the inside. So that's the tatami room. That's a tatami room. So there's multiple tatami rooms. We are in this one right now. We're on the first floor. So the stairs will take us to the second floor. There's a ladder that will take us to the basement, I guess. Dexter time. Oh my god, Dexter time. Can I hide in that bucket full of blood? <laughs> Come here, Ryder. I'll stuff you down in it. <laughs> Come here, Ryder. I'll stuff you down. We're gonna make you fit one way or another. Just just get in the bucket, and I'll push, and eventually you'll fit. Why is there paper or towels? Because somebody was... Either somebody was cleaning, or somebody was trying to wipe blood off themselves, or somebody else. Something like that. They obviously weren't trying to clean the room. But, uh... It looks like they probably tried to clean themselves or somebody else tried to or they tried to clean somebody else or something else that was covered in blood. Because, you know, murder room. I'm doing this very slowly so I can make sure I'm not walking. Oh, those are bodies. Those are bodies. These are oh, somebody's been eating people. Somebody's been having a human flesh up. Uh, <clears throat> party up in here oh we're not going to comment on any of the bodies we're not going to comment on your possibly butchered family here okay this is just normal this is just normal fresh dripping meat i should avoid counting the number of legs we're just gonna not comment on the the hanging bodies okay we're just gonna not comment on the hanging bodies i guess it's just completely normal spilled some juice totally it's totally juice inspect usually pungent spices pepper nutmeg ginger and cinnamon cinnamon to name a couple i see the air is almost suffocatingly thick with their scent uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. anything to inspect in here calendars uh inspect fridge What's that terrible smell coming from the fridge? I can't bear to open it. There's a dead body in there. It looks like cooking oil, except it's in a gallon container and it smells like burnt hair and sulfur. The color is black as soot, too. That's not cooking oil, hun. That's not cooking oil. I don't think that's cooking oil. In it, I don't think that's cooking oil. I'm going to be honest, that does not seem like cooking oil. Cinnamon mentioned cinnamon! Fuck yeah! Let's see. 
go this way. I'm going to check out all the rooms. So I'm going to like explore every room. <gasps> okay. Little trashy in here. Little dirty. Little, uh, somebody spilled some wine. Somebody spilled some really good wine. How dare they? Also, I like this so much because we're very much, it's very much, ooh, well, Mr. G, oh, oh, thank you for gifting the sub, Mr. G, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, I always appreciate the support, No. ooh, it went to Gray, hi, Gray, <laughs> we're, let's see, where are we on the map, yeah, we're searching this room next, hello, I love those wiggles. Oh. This is less than an ideal room. We're really not going to comment on all this blood? Really? Really? I feel like this is a, uh, a, a, a time when you would kind of be a little freaked out by all the blood. I love every room, though. The style is so fucking pretty. This is not easy to do, either. Like, look at this. Think about drawing this. You'd have to draw on a perspective that makes the room not only seem like anime-ish, but you have to make it move with the perspective, or at least draw it in a way that feels like it's moving with the perspective. Which is really freaking cool, honestly. It's so cool. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. G. You're always appreciated. Aww. And the support's always appreciated. Looks like the triplets toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left in a hurry. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm actually trying to give you... I'm just actually trying to give decent voice acting for once. For once, I'm trying to give you decent voice acting. <laughs> for once. What a mess. The closet's been ransacked. No valuables have been taken. Okay, the same thing. So... Yeah, we've been that way, so then we go this way. It's so pretty. You do good voices. Thank you. I try. I try to at least make them somewhat nice. Hallway. This is, like, so cool. I like the moving fog. I didn't realize that. Look, there's moving fog. I really love the mo What was that? Am I crazy or did you guys see something too? I'm like actually being serious. Am I crazy or did you guys see something too? Like for a brief moment, I thought I saw something here. Oh, shit. Okay. You do good voices. I really enjoyed how you did Corey's game. I tried. I tried to do a. I tried to do Corey's game and give it some justice. Give it not only just fun voices, but like, you know, silly voices too. I know that's where I have to go. So these are stairs up, but I want to search the rest. Oh wait, no. Is this where I came from? Yeah, this is where I came from. That's where I came from. Uh, is this the way to go? Yes, this is. I want to search out the whole place. I had looked down at, uh, I had looked down at my keyboard a little, damn it. Okay, I'm just going to have to hope somebody saw that and I'm not just absolutely insane. So this is a tatami room. Peekaboo. Not too much in here. I want to look at all the rooms. I just really want to see them all. I want to see... I want to see, like, the art. The artist in me is, like, having a fangirl moment. TV room! Oh my goodness, look. Oh, they're playing the song! <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love the song for Sucker of Love. It's so cute and so horrifying at the same time. 
the song is like it's the one of those songs where like uh you have the super happy beat but then the lyrics are actually terrifying when you think about them oh my lord um 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 uh i'm kind of uh no i'm not sure how to feel about this room i feel like it doesn't like add to the i don't feel like it adds to the the joy that is the uh you know house i don't feel like it adds to the house i feel like i feel like it takes it away i take i feel like it takes away from the house just a little bit just a little bit Remind me of Pinkie Pie songs in the Friendship is Witchcraft, the bridge series. Oh, Lord. The amount... Okay. Okay. You guys have no idea. But, like, when I was a kid, I found those super fucked up My Little Pony videos, and they scared me shitless. Like, you... What was the one? There was the one called Smile, and there was the one called Cupcakes. Oh, my God. I found those videos as a kid, and they fucked me up. Young children on the internet, my god, the things that you see. Okay, this is different. There's mushy rooms everywhere. There's mushy rooms. Crawl space. I'm definitely not going down there unless I have to. You know what? Reasonable. Completely reasonable. Uh, but, but. I remember those and Rainbow Factory. Oh god. Oh, Lord. Wait, there was another thing I remember that was super fucked up that I found as a kid. And it was a really fucked up... What was it? It was a... I'm not sure if I call it a fan account. But, like... Uh... You know those, uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. You know those people that make, like, AU's alternate universes of My Little Pony? Somebody made an alternate universe, and it was, like the craziest shit you were following rarity and it was don't look this up by the way do not look it up i looked back at it at one day because i'm like i forgot this shit existed and i looked at it again i'm like this is super fucked up why did this person get away with drawing this or at least how but basically it was following rarity and rarity had uh apparently there was some disappearances going on in the milo pony universe and rarity uh had become a masochist, like, sadist kind of person, in a way. She had an obsession with uh, Pinkie Pie, who had become a serial killer, and uh, had killed her cat, and, oh my god, so many fucked up things. Oh my god. And that's just, like, the mild bits I'm telling you. Like, don't look it up. It's so weird. I don't want to shame anybody for the things they like. That one was weird to me, dude. That one was weird to me. Oh, what a nice bathroom. Let's see. Oh, you fancy. You got not only the, the Japanese toilet, but the regular Western toilet, too. You got the whole fancy thing. You got, like, both. The shower area. It's so nice. Oh, that's not nice. There's something growing out of your bathtub. That's less than nice. There was a really good fan fiction called Upheaval. I'm. It, it, please tell me it's better than what I just explained to you. Bedroom. Okay, so that's Stardust's bedroom. Let's see. So at the end of this hallway, we have... Two more bedrooms. It's blocked from the other side. I can't see clearly through the keyhole either. Oh, that's not good. Oh my, hello. Inspect. Somebody has plastered my kid's sibling's root study room with dirty posters. Now, okay. I'm not so thrilled anymore. Why are those in the... Oh god. I'm going to beat whoever did this senseless. Honey, I'm going to be up front and blunt with you. I think your whole family has been slaughtered and sacrificed to an eldritch god. I'm just going to be very blunt to the point. I think they're all gone. And I, I think they're all gone. 
all the blood all over the house and everything, yeah, I'm afraid your family got butchered. There was a really good, uh, okay, I already read that. I already read that from you. Sounds like a normal day for him. <laughs> okay, Stardust, let's go. But this is a girl. Oh, yippee. This is a girl we're playing as, too. Oh. What the heck happened to my room? Oh, so this is just like the old game. Okay, we have our summoning board, which has the symbols we have to draw. It has the summoning circle and everything. Okay, now this has given us more of the first sucker for love uh, vibe. Excuse me, her. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I wouldn't. <laughs> <sighs> you weren't here to see like the beginning, so it's fine. You didn't know. <laughs> what the heck happened to my room? All this occult stuff sitting around. Has someone been living here while I was away? Those candles are lit. Whoever did this was here recently, but who and why? Maybe there's some kind of clue in this book. There's no title or author or anything, and it smells like overripe fruit and formaldehyde. In other words, it reeks of death. My hands feel pruney and ice cold touching the cover. Like it's drinking the life from my fingertips. Like the very material of this item is thirsty. <laughs> the book is thirsty, guys. Guys, the book is thirsty. Seed the Black Woods. Seeding the Black Woods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using a offaffle of a goat in the beating heart of a human. The beating what? I read and reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I reread again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First, the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods, and now this book describing sacrificial rituals? The truth dawns on me. Sacramento has been overrun by cultists. People haven't been spirited away by angry forest spirits. They've been abducted, and I'm next. I can't stop trembling. Should I hide? Is there even anywhere to hide? I certainly can't run. These cultists could be anywhere. I hastily flip through the book. Maybe there's something, anything, that I can use to escape? Amidst hundreds of pages of indecipherable ruins and obscene rituals, one catches my attention. Manifest the All-Mother. According to this, the All-Mother is supposed to be a being eldritch entity with profane powers of life preservation. Nothing else in this book looked even remotely benign. If this looked, if this book is for real, then this all mother is my best shot at getting out of here alive. Something a space demon is probably a bad idea, but my odds couldn't get any worse than they already are. They haven't found a single person that went missing. Besides, there's still a chance that this book is fake, right? That there's an explanation for all the weirdness happening in Sacramento? I'd better hurry and do the ritual and find out. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. Yes! Summoning an eldritch lady! Summoning an eldritch lady! Summoning a hot eldritch lady! Let's see. Summon the All Mother. That true form is terrifyingly beautiful. This entity is a benign preserver of life and cannot harm you. So a little thing about eldritch beings, I'm going to tell you this right now. Just because one can't harm you, doesn't mean you're safe. However, no contract with an eldritch uh, god is completely safe. See, right there, I just explained it. Very good. To summon her, do the following. Douse any lit candles. Got it? Have a plant mister with you. Inspect statue. It looks like an idol of a goat. Only has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton too. How does it get up the stairs? Uh, let's see. We need a this sprit mister thingy. We need a little sprit. There we go. You found the plant mister. A certain At certain times in conversation, this icon will appear and you can spray the speaker with water by right-clicking. This will interrupt whatever they're doing or saying. 
This feature was primarily included in consideration of players who dislike being hit on by older women slash eldritch abominations, but it has other uses too. <laughs> well, I'm not like other players. Uh, I'm, I don't dislike it. In fact, I quite like it. What the fuck? Where's my book to summon eldritch ladies? Where's the book? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm an eldritch lady. Oh shit. Guys, I need to make a I need to make a, my own necronomicon now. I need to make my own ne necronomicon. I need to. I need to. I need to make my own necronomicon. That would be so cool. I need to make one for myself. I'm going to do that. What are they? Cats? Eldritch beings? Eldritch beings are creatures beyond our uh before, beyond mortal comprehension. So technically, you guys couldn't understand them, but I can. Though, to be honest with my lore, I understand humans better than other eldritch beings. But, uh... I need, I need to make a Necronomicon. I need to make my own little summoning book. You guys wanna... You guys want me to make a summoning book? Uh, and you guys can summon me <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, Eldritch Lady. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I can't. It's too funny. <laughs> While facing a tree of the Black Woods, chant her name. While facing a tree of the Black Woods, chant her name. Rozak Selva Oskyoda. Okay. Okay. We need uh, to face this then. All candles have been doused, right? Yeah. Roxanne Selva Oskiroda. Insolent human! Oh. You dare call upon Roxanne? The All Mother of the Black. Oh, I kind of cut off at the end. Yes, summon so many creatures from the Sinna world. <laughs> uh, oh my god, though. Look at her. She is both uh, very sexy and also very terrifying. It worked? This book is for real? How do they get their hands on something like this? The form of the black goat of the woods assa assails my senses. The birthplace of life and final resting place of death. The maker and unmaker and all her undulating horror. A veil saline ooze seeps from the pores of my clenched fist as I'm overcome by an otherworldly nausea beyond reckoning. Spray her with the bottle. All that you are, all you ever have been, shall now become mere fertilizer for my black woods. Oh God, I am both terrified and very attracted to you. The blood trapped within my distended veins quickens, surging, agitated beneath the flesh of my cheeks. Again and again. How do I spray? Why are you blushing? <laughs> oh my god, look look at her look at her look at the bottom. It's a mouth. Eyes for the titties, mouth for the lower half. I'm both terrified, but I love it too. There's so many mouths and so many eyes, but I don't dislike them. <laughs> Also, I'm blushing. You could tell. You could tell. Oh, oh no. Guys, guys. She caught me blushing. Oh. Guys, she caught me blushing. She caught me blushing. Oh. Mm, she caught me blushing. The sexy goat lady caught me blushing. She caught me blushing. Cinnawai. <laughs> Don't you say Cinnawai. Don't you say that to me. You should expect this by now. <laughs> oh. Perfect combination. Oh, now I recognize the devs of this game. Oh, yeah. Scaroused. Oh, my God. The Futurama episode. I'm scaroused. Cinnawai. 
<laughs> it should be. Y'all should expect this from me at this point. Y'all should expect this from me. Oh, she just like me for real. Stardust just like me for real. G girl. Pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she changed her too real fucking quick. I thought I was driving you insane. All oh, that sweating and hyperventilating. You look like you were going to throw up. I'm not going to throw up, don't you? <laughs> you got the wrong woman. I ain't about to throw up. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that just happens when I talk to girls sometimes. What? What? I didn't stutter. Foolish mortal. Your impudence has made me very, very... You're making it worse. Oh, forget it. <laughs> what is it this time? Torture again? Why did you catch your cult mate with someone else and now you want me to pretend to be your mommy to comfort you? Uh... Wait, wait. <laughs> I mean, since you're offering, since, since you're offering, I'm not gonna turn that down. <laughs> Glad you caught that. <laughs> I love Futurama, man. Of course I caught that. I should honestly, I've seen the content you make on uh, your for an uh, U4 channel now. <laughs> Cultmate? Torture? I think I've been confused for someone else. Again. I see the content you make on your channel now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... This is, <laughs> this is normal for Senna. <laughs> it would be rude to refuse. It would be so rude. I mean, when an eldritch god offers to be your hot mommy, I mean, I'm down for it. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Who am I to say no? I feel like it'd be so rude. Out with it. You probably only have a few more moments before your lust breaks your will. So make it quick. Old Rock Zan. <laughs> huh? I feel fine. I mean, she's drop dead gorgeous, and I feel like my heart is beating out of my chest. I don't feel like my will is breaking or anything. <laughs> of fertility, the physical manifestation <laughs> of perverse desires. And you are standing two feet away from me at the very epicenter of my carnal influence. And you're telling me you don't feel a thing. I mean, I'm feeling a thing, but it's not driving me crazy. Uh, I mean, I think you're really beautiful. And that's all? You think I'm just beautiful? Come closer oh. and take a deep breath in. Oh, 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 wait. <laughs> mm, I'm not gonna be. Oh, I don't know if I should be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm tempted to spray her for shits and giggles. But also, hot Eldritch Lady. Hot Eldritch Lady. Uh, uh, hmm. Spray bottle or sniff? Spray bottle or sniff? Because she just asked me to basically sniff her. Spray bottle or sniff? Spray! A warm floral scent washes over my senses. I feel lightheaded for a moment before it abates. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was an accident! I pressed the wrong button, but that's too funny. Less getting rejected by her own cultist in her own dream. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not rejecting you. I'm sorry. Come back. No, I love you. I'm sorry. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> <sighs> Smells like an Eldritch God to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if this makes it worse or not, but I'm actually not anybody's cultist. What did you say? I, I mean, sorry? I summoned you because my life is in danger and I thought maybe you'd be able to help me somehow? Suddenly she lifts my chin and pulls my face close to hers. Lies. You. You're not under my influence. You're not one of them. Uh, I'm not. How did you get this book? 
What do you mean? I just found it on the floor. Listen to me. You are in grave, grave danger. The thousand doesn't know you're here yet, but they will be coming for you. And you've got nowhere to run. What? You won't be able to escape. Not while I'm still rooted here. Any road you walk will lead straight back here. Okay. You need to do the rituals in that book in order, ending with a spell that will uproot me from this location. Once I've been uprooted, you'll be able to run for it and hope for the best. She's trying to help me. Aww. Sniff what exactly? I don't know. Neck? <laughs> Sniff that neck. Sniff the hair. Sniff her hand. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Maybe the booba? Maybe the booba? Maybe. <laughs> also, she's trying to help us. How sweet. I'm uprooted. You'll have no way out. Boing, 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 boing. A chill is running up my spine. Run for it? No way out? Grave danger? So what have I gotten myself into? Am I scaring you? I know it's a lot, but you have no choice if we're ever going to escape from Sacramento. Uh, oh, if we're going to escape? Hey, yo, we're running away together? Okay, never mind. I'm not scared anymore. There's a different feeling now. Wait a minute. Did I just hear something right? Hold it. It sounds like you're trying to escape too. Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. Oh. My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Uh. Yeah, considering you kind of preserve life, really, instead of, you know, ending it, uh. Yeah, that would be kind of bad. I can I can see why that's bad. This is a nightmare that I'd just like to end. But neither of us can leave without the uprooting ritual being performed. Okay. Oh, that's sad actually. It means even our it means even our dear Eldritch Lady, our dear Eldritch Lady God here is in trouble and being abused by evil asshole cultist. I'm gonna beat their asses. I'm gonna beat their asses. How dare they? I'm gonna get you out of here. Roxanne. Roxanne. <laughs> I gotta head off to bed, but it's nice seeing you, Santa. Have a great stream. Thank you for stopping by, Ryder. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have a good night. You have a good night and a good sleep and a good rest. I'll see you later. Bye bye. But I should warn you. These incantations and rituals can be terrifying for a non-cultist to perform. Even successfully nope. completing them can have grave consequences. Oh, I've already been known that. The first sucker of love taught me that to a T. Whether the, whether it's a, no matter what you do, it's dangerous to you. <laughs> Redeemed hydrate. Since you're so thirsty, thank you. Since I'm so thirsty, I kind of need a drink. Mm, I need some water. I need some water. I'm just so thirsty, guys. I'm just so thirsty. <laughs> I'm just so thirsty. These rituals will test your metal in ways that. I'll do it. What? Really? You're just okay with what I'm saying. There is a hot elder woman in front of me asking me to help save her and myself, but like, you know, I'm more okay with saving the hot lady. I am. If there's a way out of this, just tell me how and I'll do it. Are you sure? So many people have gone missing in Sacramento. I'm not letting the same happen to either of us. Not today. Let's not waste any time. Start with the spawn partner ritual first. You'll need it. Spawn partner? Hey, yo, this is uh Spawn partner. Light the ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Red, blue, green. Oh, that's a deeper blue. Pink, purple. Uh, I'm gonna go with red because it's simply closest to. Uh, oh, it changes to black, green, blue, pink, purple, yellow. Oh, that's yellow. Go back. I want yellow. 
I want yellow. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. She's so cute. Look at her, but she's so sad. No, no, don't be sad. I'll get you out of here. We'll have a happily ever after ending. No, she's so sad. Asshole cultist making the hot, uh, hot goat eldritch lady all sad. Hate him. Hate him. Assholes. She's big and cute. I, I, I like big women. I like, I like tiny women. I like tall women. I like big women and I looks, and I like small women. I'm appreciative of all women. Let's see. What's the next step? Have your choice of an aromic herb of, on your person. Pick a scent you find pleasant. Oh, okay. We're going to the kitchen now, my dudes. Wait, everything I need is in this room. Aww, I was going to go get the cinnamon. Take mint. Ew. Lavender. Ew. Rosemary. I like rosemary. But not mint. Or lavender. Imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Oh, wait. So, if this was real... And we imagined our own ideal snoo snoo. No 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 snoo snoo till later. You gotta you gotta you gotta charm the lady. You gotta riz her up. We're going for a relationship here, not a one night stand. We're going for a relationship here. We gotta charm. We've gotta charm this lady. No snoo snoo until we've gotten that seal, the deal. But imagine, if it does not exist, will appear before you. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Imagine your ideal partner. Imagine this, something where you literally can create your ideal partner. My waifu. Waifu. Hmm. That's actually interesting to think about. Huh. The rock knock ya megep no gnyak Oh, hell. <laughs> The game ain't wrong. The game is not wrong. I'm not, the game is not wrong. I like my ideal partner that just showed up. And I like her blush. I like my ideal partner. I'm picking Tiona from da, Damachi. <laughs> LMFAO. Oh yeah. You my ideal, all right. Wait, I can explain. Go ahead. I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to be bashful, especially after all that time you spent playing coy. <laughs> In view of the circumstances, perhaps I will allow you to be my partner. Oh, <gasps> fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, that's a win, man. That's a full-on W. <laughs> Life and death circumstances be damned. Really? And that's okay with you? Even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. Aww, she has trust issues. It's okay. It's okay, baby girl. It's okay. Senna is patient, and Senna will not cross any boundaries whatever you need however much time you need whatever whatever boundaries you need i will respect them do not worry baby girl but i'm not exactly the god of taking things slow <laughs> besides i already have a thousand children <laughs> there's no harm in a thousand and one Oh, 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 she a, she, she a mommy for real. Wait, what are you talking about? Taking me as your partner? I thought you were talking about just being my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't want kids. But, uh, I'm still down to, to clown, if you get what I mean. <laughs> I'm still down to clown. Two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? 
Wait, girlfriend's not. Wait, is girlfriend platonic? King? Actually, no. Yeah, because there's girlfriend and then there's girl who's a friend. I was really confused for a second. I mean, Santa don't want platonic. There's three meetings of partner. What's the third? Cowboys. Are you still joking around while standing so close to me? You should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. I mean, I'm lustful. But not that lustful. But I am lustful. Oh, that's an easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? Oh, is our character A? Oh, is our character Ace? Yep. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? Or is she talking about being like a virgin? Taking you haven't had children yet? Nope. And you, you aren't with child now. No. You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. What? <laughs> Why did that change so fucking quickly? Wait, hold on a minute. I need an explanation. Wait, are you saying if somebody's a virgin, they won't? Feel your lust, and if they, if it, and if they aren't with child, they, oh, they can't escape. Oh my God, we. <laughs> oh my God, that's too fucking funny. Wh what? You're really not gonna help me just because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. What? I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Oh. Those that best serve that goal receive a fraction of my power. Okay. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, physical enhancement, and in some cases, immortality. And those followers are the ones looking for you. Oh, no. That is not ideal. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. So you're saying, unless I fucked and had a kid, I get no powers? I have to have a baby to have your power? Damn. Being child free has bit me in the ass <laughs> for once. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't really I still don't want kids. But like Could you make my time left on Earth memorable at least? What if I don't want powers or kids? Okay. Oh, um, uh, you want, uh, mm, you want, uh, grandbabies. I, I see it. Um, I see it. Um, I see it. Oh, oh. I take an involuntary step backwards. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here, okay? Mm. Holy mother, that was freaking scary. She's really taking this hard. I better go get the stuff for the next ritual. <gasps> so we go to kitchen and dining room. So these followers are kind of like jealous ex-boyfriends then? You want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you leave? Actually, yes. That's precisely right. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me, then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. Okay. Wait a minute. So the mommy thing and everything. I, you're telling me you fucked every cultist 
<laughs> and now they're angry, bitter, jealous exes. <sighs> oh my god. And because they're jealous, they're gonna come in here and they're gonna hack me to pieces and chop off my limbs and shit. Okay, good to know. Good to know. What is it? What is it we're playing now? Are you sure we're playing Sucker for Love and not Scott Coffin versus the world or something like that? Isn't that what it's called where the dude like has to fight his girlfriend's exes? Isn't that the one? I'm trying to remember. Is that the one I really want to... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's Scott Pilgrim versus the world or Scott Pilgrim. Okay. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Okay, that's what we're doing here. Okay, got it. I guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Not really. I know I can do a better goal. Well, maybe I should get back to the rituals then? That's probably a good idea. I want to talk more. Hey, you're basically a god, right? An outer god, yes. If these cultists have been bothering you, couldn't you, I don't know, bite them? What kind of mother would I be if I harmed my children? Oh. Wait, I'm so confused. The exes are your children, but you also dated them? Okay, it's gotten weirdly incestuous up in here. It's a little weird. Point taken. But in all seriousness, I can't do anything to hurt my followers directly. Because never in my wildest dreams could I hurt a human. Aww. But maybe doing no harm isn't the same as doing good. Aww. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> she said she dated all the exes, all the cultists, and they're, their, they're her exes. So, like, damn. If you can't fight, how come you can't just run away or hide on the moon or something? Because I lay roots wherever I'm seated. Oh. Goats have roots? My true form does. This goat form is merely one of my avatars, but my true form is actually all of the trees in the Black Woods. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. Your true appearance is just a regular old tree? A really sexy tree. <laughs> Don't worry, I think you're a really sexy tree. Like a birch tree? Sexier. <laughs> Sexier than a birch tree. <laughs> like a willow tree? Sexier. Keep going. Like a cedar tree? Cedar. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Less sexy. Less sexy. Okay. We're not a cedar tree kind of sexy. <laughs> We're not a cedar tree kind of sexy. Okay. He's seated. Seated. A, spru a spruce. Oh, that actually probably would have been the right answer. So, all the, ch all the cultists are her children or her followers, I'm guessing. So, I'm guessing... Uh, okay, this is a weird thing. I'm trying to get this down in my head. Uh... I mean, I have stated in my lore, it's harder for me to understand eldritch beings than it is, uh, humans. But, uh... She is the god of fertility and everything. She loves humans. She's related to some humans. Some humans are descendants of hers. She's dated the cultists. The cultists are both her descendants and her followers. Oh, I guess in that case, then, technically, some of them could be exes... No, she said all of them are exes. She dated her grandbabies. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't get around that. That's a, that's kind of a little bit of a deal breaker. I might have to think on that one. <laughs> Let's see. This way, right? Yeah. I'm scared there's going to be a jump scare or something, so I'm taking it slow. <laughs> I 
That's why guys get wood, because she's a tree and we're related to her. But dumb I'll see myself out. Yeah, take a go. <laughs> For shame. Let's see, I need... Collect the following. Meat from a living thing that died within the black woods. Check the meat rack in the dining room. Uh, okay. Milk of the black goat. Store bought 2% is apparently fine too. It's in the fridge. I tear a hunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. It smells kind of strange. Is this beef? Pork? Whatever it came from, it was huge. I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on the hooks. Oh, you know what I just realized? She said she wanted to be related to every living thing on the planet, so... <gasps> Slide boy! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, 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 welcome! Welcome to chat! Welcome to stream! We are playing Sucker for Love Date to Die for Demo! And we are currently trying to do a ritual for the uh, hot goat uh, eldritch being lady upstairs known as Roxanne. Let me give you a shout out. Welcome, 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 raiders! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Cinna. I'm a living cinnamon roll VTuber and totally not anything else suspicious. <laughs> uh, it's great to meet you! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Slide boy, how was stream? What were you streaming? Ba 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 ba. Ah, I burped a little. <laughs> my bad. Sorry if you heard that. Uh, we were just gathering meat. And now we have to go uh, gather something from the kitchen. Hello. Coming into the kitchen. But also, she said she wanted to be related. The Roxanne did. She said she wanted to be related to every living thing on Earth. So animals count as well, I guess. Is, is that right? That would explain why they described earlier about animals and stuff having too many eyes and too many legs and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would explain it. That would explain that, actually. Yeah. So then technically, uh, everything is out to get us. Not just followers, but animals, too. It was okay, and I played some car mechanic simulator 21 in talking car stuff. Ooh, nice, nice. I sadly am not very educated on cars, but I'm always happy to learn. Hm. And also, Car Mechanic Simulator, that actually sounds fun. That sounds like actually a really good educational game. Let's see. Uh, would it be in the fridge? Oh yeah, it would be. This is the milk of the black goat? It just looks like regular carton of store-bought strawberry milk with a label slapped on it. I guess the cultists would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne. Now that their relationship has soured. No pun intended. <laughs> it is. Yippee! Cars go vroom. That's about all I remember mostly with my car stuff. Cars go vroom, vroom, vroom! They were, and also, the cultists, all the cultists are pretty much just exes. Yeah, confirmed. All exes. There should, this should be good enough. Good to know. I guess since uh, she won't provide them with uh, <coughs> milkies, <laughs> she won't give them milkies, guys. She won't give them milkies. They had to go buy it from the store. Now that's when you know you've fucked up in life. You don't get to have milkies. What else do I need? Okay. A receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. B blood? An unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for? A chill just ran up my spine. Am, am I being watched? I have everything I need. I need to get out of here fast. Oh, is there somebody in the house now? There's somebody in the house now. There's somebody in the house now. Oh, God. Me and my buddy's eyes, they're more than just car uh, cars. They're like... They're almost like living things. We're big car enthusiasts. Nice. I never thought of looking at it that way. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. Huh. I like that. That opens my mind a bit more to cars. I like that. That's an interesting way of looking at it. It's pretty cool. Hello. Oh, 
don't be nobody here. Don't be nobody here. Oh, thank God. Oh, gotta go. Gotta run. And up the stairs. Woo! We gotta flee, because I'm pretty sure somebody knows we're here now. Wait, no. Too far down the hall. Rock sun! I got this stuff. Oh, she's still sad. Yeah, but I got to take a fat nap. Have an amazing stream. Thank you for rating. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have a good rest. You have a good nap. I completely understand. I, I usually like naps after stream, too. You go rest up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the raid again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No problem. Yippee! We need red. Okay, red candles. Collect the following meat. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Last three. Blah, blah, blah. Chant while facing red fire candles. I like how it specifies we have to be facing a certain way. It's like super cool. I love all the little details. Naps are nice. They really are. Well done. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. Yes. Nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, we just might get out of here. <laughs> Perhaps so. I um mm. I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure. Uh Oh, that? I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised a literal god would bother apologizing to a human at all. I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously absent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. Okay, I'm blasphemously abstinent. God damn. <laughs> so because I don't fuck, I, I, I'm I'm uh, blasphemous. Okay. I'm not out there fucking and having kids, so I'm blasphemous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is the meat of one of her children? Possibly. Possibly. Eldritch gods are like this, though, Mr. G. You gotta understand. Uh, eldritch beings, uh, at least from the perspective of mortals, it's... What we do isn't very easy to understand. I mean, my situation's a little different. Humans can understand me mentally and physically, but, uh... Still, our reasonings and our actions aren't, like, easily, you know, understood still. There are still things that happen beyond mortal comprehension. After all, keep in mind, this is a life preserver and the, god the goddess of fertility, pretty much. She follows the natural circle of life, and the natural circle of life is that things die. Things uh, become food. Things do all that nice jazz. And if it, it may be her children, but at the same time, uh, it's just how it goes for eldritch beings. Fair enough. Fair enough. See, see, there you go. You see, if you step within range of my woods, any desire you have that will lead you hmm. closer to me is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable, and most of the time, it's lust. Okay. Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento stare and becomes a cultist. Oh. Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento stare and becomes a cultist. I mean, I have carnal and animalistic desires, but like they're not that intense. They're not that intense. I mean, I'm down bad for you, but I'm not that down bad. Well, no. I'm thinking about it. You know, it also just occurred to me, it also just wouldn't affect me because I'm also an eldritch being. Huh. Huh. So even if I was down bad, horny on main, it wouldn't matter because I physically can't be affected by her. Damn. Well, actually, I'm still physically affected. <laughs> Please laugh at that joke. Please laugh. I'm desperate. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand. 
and your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what is it there. So then what is it we desire then? What does Stardust desire? You'll forget to eat and sleep, and you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. Oh. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. Oh, damn. I mean, I have lust, but once again, I'm an eldritch being. I, like, don't get affected by this stuff. At least not from other eldritch beings. My only question is, if you're not here for lust, why are you here? My family! I pulled a receipt out of my pocket. I came looking for my parents. This used to be a handwritten letter from them. Saying they were here, in this house. But once I got here, I tuned to a blank receipt and won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents. But the woods made you believe it was. I'm sorry. No. So they... Really aren't still alive? They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. No, I'm actually sad for Stardust. Her whole family is dead now. Her siblings, mother, father, grandmother. Oh, poor Stardust. Poor Stardust. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. The dust has long settled on my parents being gone. But the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. I don't feel tired at all. Come to think of it, I felt like I was going to collapse when I made it into this house. I don't think I've eaten since I've got the letter either. Take a few bites, and the tears abate. There, there. It'll be alright, Stardust. <gasps> She's called a Stardust. But they're the head cultist. Why else would everything be in her old house? Uh, I don't- they're not the head cultist though. Her family's dead. They just basically- basically they- the cultist came in, slaughtered her family, and sacrificed- and her family also prop more- also got sacrificed to the woods as fertilizer. So they got murdered basically. So they're not head cultists. They're just dead. They got murdered. And they just decided to set up their main cultist base, base in the in her home, in her childhood home. Stardust, how did you know my parents' nickname for me? Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it, a part of me. Their love for you likely lives on in me. Aww, aww, aww. That's so oh, oh, my heart. I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she can know that name. It's outright terrifying. But I feel strangely comforted that part of them is still here somewhere. Um, I hope this isn't an ina inoffensive question, but how come this book said you were benign? All the missing people and people that came looking for them, you, you ate them? It was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother. Hungerlessness. Disease immunity. Oh no. So you came here to bring about safe childbirth for infants and mothers. You were meant to stop hunger and, disease Im and bring about disease immunity. But instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my heart. Now my woods are bloodthirsty. I'm forced to watch innumerable die. Oh no. Bitch ass followers. I'm gonna kick their asses. Bitch ass followers. I'm gonna kick their asses. I'm gonna punch them in the fucking face, all of them. I'm gonna punch them in their nuts. I'm gonna punch them in their titties. I'm gonna punch them in whatever the hell else they got. I don't care. Man, woman, child, all my, all my, all the binary and non-binary people getting it too all the ginger fluid too everybody that's part of this cult getting a fucking fist to the face how dare you you don't make this beautiful beautiful eldritch goat woman sad like this and you don't abuse them they're getting the they're getting a full-on fucking fist fight with me they're getting a full-on fist fight tonight 
But why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much hate in their hearts? Huh? What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Already? No, 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 no. Fake it. Fake it and say we're a cultist. Fake it and say we're one of them. Fake it till you make it. Fake, fake it till you make it, girl. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you fucking make it. You played the actor role to a T. I forgot. Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I'd be more careful with showing fear for her sake. It could be just that. It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house shifts on its own. I'll check it out. It's not like it came from the kitchen. Oh. Oh my god, no! I was fucking enjoying that so much! Oh, I'm so sad it's over. I'm so sad it's over. No! I fucking love that, though.